Uh, they're not all unsorted. I mean, I have categories, you know. Uh, I mean, I've definitely finished more than the number of games that I have finished here, but this is a pretty good list of games that I've finished. There's definitely more that I haven't marked correctly, but... When I, when I hit a game that's, like, turns into shit, like Age of Booty started out so good, and then it just it just drops off in in like playability like immediately and so i gave up on it it started out so good though like in the first like however many levels all right it's it's october so this is a spooky game right murder it's really more of a detective type game. I would really expect Natal to play this, but. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. First day on the job. Is this our character? We don't get to make our own. Sonic character? Shit game. <laughs> yes. Wait, should we put a capital? I'll do a capital. I'm pretty sure everybody else's name in the game is going to be a capital. Oh, it's all full. It's all full caps anyway, so it doesn't matter either way. Hope the passengers can read my scribbles. Look at how quality this game. I think they may release this game as an April Fool's joke, but then it it was like not a joke. It was like a real game, but it was free or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Am I nervous? Is this the first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Arch, shake it off. Slap. Arch, did I just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. What? What? Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on your retirement, sir. Oh, my dog needs to go outside, so be right back. Hmm. Uh, probably about time I freshen up my glasses either way. Uh, wine glass anyway, <laughs> since I've only been drinking the wine. Yeah.
Okay. Sorry for the wait. My wife's very excited about it. Already got our plane tickets to Spagonia. Is that where they make spaghetti in the Sonic universe? Our shower's been on the fritz. Decided to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. <laughs> but his shower is not working. You got enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Oh shit, is this a game? Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. Which one would you guys pick? I'd probably go for the Sonic option myself. Yeah, I figured that out already. Thanks for the hand-holding game. Oh my god, they're making me do it. Yes, I I see. I can see it from this small image. <laughs> Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Oh my god, really? Microwave? Hot dog? Really? Yes. Microwave ramen's probably okay, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken for envelope. Glad you can read the menu, okay. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and train. Thirty-two years, I don't blame him for being wistful. The writing on this reminds me a lot of uh, Phoenix Wright. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? Ah, oh, murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. No, you can't know my pizza, Leather. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Shouldn't I have a script or something? If I'm working here? So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Ah, I'm glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening all aboard! It's Amy. I don't know if I can name all the Sonic characters, but let's find out. Tails. Wow, this train's incredible. What fascinating tech. I couldn't name this character. Vector, I guess. Isn't Vector a different game, though? You're right, Tails. 
I get used to staying on trade like this. What'd you all expect? You know, I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Called down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Hey, what's up, pin knucklehead? Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? What a cast of characters I'm stuck with. <laughs> A hold of yourself. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Right, oh, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic? Wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. Ha, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them ready. You'll join me, Arch, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to. Talk with, and we'll get their ticket. Okay, got it. Holy fuck, it's a lot of characters. I don't know this character's name. Shadow, obviously. Or this character, I don't know who that is. Is that... Is that the Chaos... Uh, guy? In Sonic form? <laughs> Who's this? Hmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. Our trails are for the guests, you know. Train, be sure Harsh only gets one of those if they ask. Only one? I get one? It's an arm. Did the arm just kind of nod? Uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. Okay, that's probably good to know about the train character. I just keep talking to him? It's the same thing. Oh, uh, same thing. Okay. I always thought it would be so simple to make one of these games. Most of these games just rely on the art and the writing. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. <laughs> Same the conductor doesn't want to argue either. I uh, offer you any of the snacks that we have on board. Sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. What? No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Look at us being fucking... Um... Relatable. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. And good to someone on this train is normal. Normal? It's, uh... I mean, I guess they're... I guess they're better at people's skills than I am. Pick it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. 
Don't worry about it. I just like helping. But Eggman took over. I truly fear the worst. But my kid swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. Can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Was he the Sonic the Hedgehog? And they put a coat on him so no one can argue about the color of his arms? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yeah, have fun now. Will do, thanks. I can't do a Sonic voice. Could we please see your ticket? Espio. It's not a character I'm familiar with. Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe no one can communicate. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow! Ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. So it's a ninja. Okay. And it's got a base for. Is it supposed to be a rhinoceros creature or... The most creatures in Sonic are, like, supposed to be real things, right? Except Tails? I don't know what Tails is supposed to be. Not a hedgehog. Tails the... Squirrel? Flying squirrel? I don't know. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I uh, misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Interesting. Perhaps here. What's staying out of this napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to the rightful owner. Sorry, it's... it takes a lot of effort to remember all these characters and voices. <laughs> Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Well, I'll stick it added to the inventory. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. Arch, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? This one. Oh, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to both. To you both. Really worried you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, old Arch here would have their hands full kicking you out. 
You all right? I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. All right. Ah, please get the birthday girl's ticket. <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true prime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Well, we move along for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I like to go left to right. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I'm doing everything left to right order. Except for the arm. I thought that was interesting, so I clicked on that first. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Uh, that stare. Burr. So cold. Oh, Joe Shiverin. Do you need me to fetch you or jack it? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Oh, wait. Damn it. What else do you need? Uh, can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir. Is not everything to your liking? I just expected a bit more from a train. So state of the art. You don't even have drinks listed. He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. I'll have to take you up on that coffee soon. Just the beans and a spoon, though. What? I can't get a read on this guy. Does everybody say other shit? Fuck. Not interested. The chicken cordon blue does sound good, though. Well, that answers that. All right. Um. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm supposed to go back and ask everybody what they want. Who's this character? May I have your ticket, please? Oh, thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Princess, such as my shelf, should always, must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? You don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. 
a separate way. Just here for Amy's birthday, and then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I'll admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your sticky prince here. Should I bow? Bef Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch it for you. Stupid sexy rouge. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite and very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to ask kindly for that back. Oh, this was yours. Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? I'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty capable on their own. Entry. Assist us if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mugging up the place, either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Arch here, if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Bye now. I like that guy. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Oh, this sounds like fun. Sounds like a fun little role play game. Lore cards. That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the real suspect, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the cat captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? 
there is none. <laughs> hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a towel of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yup. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help me ensure everyone follows their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked in this map as well. How convenient. I suppose. No one's in the... Wait, isn't Tails in the dining car? Why, why is he not... On the map. Huh. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Oh, shit. I just realized that the music hasn't been going this whole time. Hey, you haven't missed much. There's been no voices or anything. It's just been this background music the whole time. I mean, it's not bad background music, you know. I didn't mean to deprive you of the background music. Raise it up a little bit. In volume. So that we can all... Enjoy it together. Maybe just slightly less. Okay. Everyone to your stations! Oh, this has been the first change in background music. Ah, oh, this is so exciting! Oh, so I guess we walk around with Tails and Amy because they weren't on the map. A mystery is unfolding right under our noses! Mm-mm. How thrilling, I have goosebumps. Same! Ah, isn't that awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone else? Well, actually... The detective and the mur and the journalist cannot be the murderer. We're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy is more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Uh, do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No! The lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. 
My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned into a journalist. Not gonna lie, that sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Scary noises. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping. Oh, hold on. I I can't. Ah. No. Interesting way to start the murder. What? Did I just get thrown into the supply closet? You're both awake! Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. A train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. So, I, I think if I'm gonna have to voice these three characters the whole time, I'm probably not gonna do any special voice. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling after I've had some more wine. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Arch, could you get the door? Of course! I mean, Tails and Amy's voices kind of sound the same uh, for me. I mean, I think they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that ball and shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. Didn't bring the pico pico hammer. We'll search over here. I you know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh. I guess she. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check everything you can around this closet. And then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Yes, it's a point and click game. I know how it works, brother. Ugh. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got you. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure... Paying customer, a paying guests are well taken care of, understood? <laughs> understood? I don't know. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Oh, I accidentally. Hey, Arch, look closely at this. I wonder how the shelf got on. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I think she already tried to hit it with her hammer. I feel like this is important. We should log it. What do we have here? Oh, she broke her hammer. Tip is broken. Who have been originally attached to something. Oh, really? There's nothing else? I mean, there is other things I can click on, but perhaps they don't, uh... I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. That sounds tasty. I've never made a cast iron pizza. Jeez. 
She broke her hammer, huh? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon! If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out! Dig ourselves out? On a train? <laughs> I'll keep looking. <laughs> Amy! We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You're accusing me of my own birthday?! How dare you! I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Arch and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. We have evidence to prove that? Yes, I know. I don't need a tutorial on how to play a fucking... It really does feel like this game was made by the Phoenix Wright team. No. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over, damage makes sense. Now we follow this train of thought, how did the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing that, what would Sonic do? <laughs> like an endless runner game, I've played a lot of those on my phone. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'll read the story parts, but not necessarily the... Oh, shit. Dream Gear? What? Fuck. We got a real game happening. Why are we having to do this? It's a real fucking game! I got the 20, 20... I got the 20 rings already. Okay, fuck. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was gonna be a casual... A casual, uh, visual novel experience here. A point and click, uh... Now we gotta play real games? Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around the shelf. There's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. Yeah, you just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. What is that? A stick? Do you truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh shit. It's more of the game. Oh no, wait. I don't know, I gotta set my drink down. Ugh. I wasn't ready. Sonic. Go. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Alright, I'm ready this time. I didn't know there was gonna be a real game here. I'm not having trouble getting the rings, I am having trouble... ...nailing the timing of the jumping. stick couldn't do this kind of damage onto the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say... A hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? 
This is actually a, the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. <laughs> Logic. It says you both said. I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap and the handle ripped right off. Figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look generally sorry about the situation. Never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It was a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed! Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. I just needed a better place to set down my glass. Alright, stand back! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it for free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. It's a fucking mess. Oh, uh, wait, is that... Oh, shit. It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! I don't know why she's making that face for that safe. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. He's actually dead. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to re rest. It looks like maybe he drank some juice. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Arch. What do I do? What would Sonic do? <laughs> I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means that they must be remarkably rich. So I leave that kid to you, Arch, my favorite employee. <laughs> it just started. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> what do you guys think about my old man conductor? I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I can't just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Whoa, the art quality got way worse in this area. They run into time constraints. Whoa, look at this place. Hey, Tails, where are you? Arch, I'm over here. Game me. Oh, look at that. I just happened to pick the right character. The game has already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. Do you need something for me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he's uh, he's laughing. 
Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would have actually happened to him. You're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes a nap in a, stra in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's fine. made a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind. Is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Yeah, if I ever need a snack, you've got me! Ha, <laughs> fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. You ever catch me looking glum, though? Just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? And the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. The varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? Just trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! Uh, see you then. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. <laughs> Excuse me, damn. That voice says, uh, hard to do. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and. Nope, no, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out or not? I know better than to argue with Knuckles. Uh, it seems we're on our own. Arch, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we pull apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Chips. Uh, maybe they're just unsalted. Knuckles was getting fucking trashed in here. Oh wait, no, lipstick. That's not Knuckles' color at all. I should love this. Anything in the trash? <laughs> I'm starting to think that's theory on something always hidden in the trash is flawed. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith! Just as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> then why is this smashed? Super Monkey Ball? I think it broke when the train spread out. The damage looks to be more caused from punches. <laughs> <laughs> What are you two looking at me for? Yeah, you got drunk and failed the game. Howdy, partners! God. It's cute. It's a cute little tidbit. Bum, 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 bum. 
I like the music. The music's good. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. She used to adjust your head a bit so we can see it better. I said leave! <laughs> yeah, like a butler. <laughs> and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? This this uh, writing really really does remind me of Phoenix Wright. I wonder I wonder if uh, the Phoenix Wright uh, writing staff may have been involved. All right, see you later. I probably won't finish this. Uh, maybe just do another 30, 40 minutes or so. But I, I imagine it's only like a one or two stream game, so. We may pick it up tomorrow or something. Or just take a good look at our inventory. I was distracting Knuckles during the time for when the Sonic was murdered. Uh. Obviously, this. Excuse me. The arcade machine? What makes you think I touched it? Punches. It's Dream Gear time. Oh fuck, it does get harder. It's considerably harder. Too bad I'm a Chad, though. <laughs> this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. <laughs> what evidence you have that the damages are punches? staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you... I'm on it. Arch, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Jesus, it's hard! <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> Jesus, I barely beat that one! Why is it so difficult? What the fuck is happening? Uh, I might be too drunk for these skill-based games. I mean, first time, though. You know, just saying. Your arcade machine's fixed! If it gets a lot harder, though, I might. I might. Uh, no, don't look at the scores! <laughs> Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. No, lost a vector. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. 
Tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You completed. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. It's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing! Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name! Prove to me he was here now! Third five. Oh, you can stand in the middle? Fuck! No! Fuck! You have nothing! Zilt's not on! I'll leave you two! Okay, let's try again. You can stand in the middle. You get both. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I missed the jump again. Fuck. Fuck. Shit is not easy. Fuck. Wait, I have the rings already. Need to finish. Alright, not first try, but, you know, we're getting there. Now, Arch, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Oh, wait, oh, that was the wrong guy. Oh, in the three glasses, I assume. I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks and playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not I... I wasn't... And don't... And don't tell Amy... We're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of its win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. This friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But well, what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. She offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something. Rogue? I don't know. I think it's Rouge. I don't know. And left. And then Knuckles destroyed the machine. It all makes sense to me. Thanks for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list. Doesn't make sense. Arch, can you take a look one more time? A name on the high score list? What's Tails talking about? Who are the characters? Uh, what's this guy's name again? Fuck. I guess it's, uh, Ultima? Ultima? 
Everything else is candy. Also, all the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who cares goes by Alto. May not know much, but there's someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Oh, it's fucking Shadow. Really, have someone here that goes by me? Nothing sneaks by you, does it? Good. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. Thomas the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. <laughs> you all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. He. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. It's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not that too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Right, that's the uh, birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourself. More information than I expected to get there. Seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. Only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock with you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. Liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Arch. Let's head to the library. Come on it. Seems way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Arch, coming. I don't know if I care for this character very much. Alright. We're gonna save it. And that's gonna be the end for this stream. For this game. And this stream. Thanks for watching everybody. And uh Enjoy the rest of your Friday night video games.